Hello everyone and it is time for another product review and this just was released Mistake plant-based vegan steaks and I saw them advertising this from Coven so I went to make sure that I picked this up. It's not so cheap, it was $15.99, it says two steaks, doesn't feel too heavy, um, 20 grams of protein each and contains no meat of course, simulated steak, it's uncooked what else does it say about this? 100% sun-fed plant proteins, juicy marbling, and meaty cuts. And you can find out more about them, I guess, at catmistake.com. It says here, cooking mistake. Broil, grill, sear, roast. Mistake is perfect on its own or in your favorite recipe. Always juicy, tender, rich, and buttery. Mistake is lightly seasoned and you can leave it naked or add a light sprinkle of your preferred steak seasoning. So it says, says here you can cook on the stove top from frozen or defrosted. And I've had it out, so it's probably defrosted. Uh, if desired, add a little steak seasoning or salt and pepper. Sear in a hot pan with a bit of oil until nicely browned on both sides. And finish with vegan butter and some fresh sage. Um, is that what I have back there? Sage? I do have sage. Um, or a drizzle of balsamic glaze. Heat to minimal minimum internal temperature of 175. I do have a thermometer. I never check. You can also barbecue it if you'd like. And it is made from soybean protein, non-GMO, water, soybean oil, tapioca, konjac root, sea salt, vegan, vegan sugar, okay, wheat flour, spices, sesame, natural color, vitamins and minerals, which include niacin, vitamin B3, uh, pyridoxine hydrochloride, which is vitamin B6. It's got thiamine hydrochloride, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B12, calcium pantothenate, ferric orthophosphate, and zinc sulfate. So it is a wheat, soy, gluten product. Don't have this if you're allergic to any of that. Let me open this up and take a look at the steaks. So how are we going to cook this? We're just going to, obviously we're going to pan sear it and, yeah. Okay, so that's what they look like. So they're not very big, but... They're definitely smaller than I was expecting. I mean, I've heard a couple of reviews I looked at were pretty positive. Okay, so this is what they look like. You can see some of the marbling there. And we're just going to put a little bit of salt pepper. Right, Chloe? Uh-huh. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah. We have, yeah, we have salt, pepper, garlic powder. And we're going to get it into the pan, which seems hot. So let's do that in terms of the sizzle. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I'm hearing a sizzle. Nice. nice. Doesn't smell of anything in particular, like in terms of like meat. What do you think? Let me... I almost feel like it smells slightly more like pork than. Oh well, I never ate pork, so I wanna. You know, you know that. Like too. almost like pepperoni a little bit. Oh okay. Uh, is there any special thing to searing? I guess you just sear for. I don't know. We have it kind of like medium high. Should we? Put it lower, or we'll work on searing it, guys. I guess you know, and, and yeah, and we'll be back. Okay, so looks like the temperature could be close to 140, maybe not quite yet, but we're gonna start doing some basting in butter. We're gonna put some garlic and sage in there, and we're gonna see how this tastes. Just a couple garlic cloves. Um, and let's, uh, do we have a different, let's use a spatula. Okay. Sorry. You're going to need a spoon, but, um, just be careful, because I don't, you know, I really don't want to have the spoon on me. It's not bubbling like it should be. Well, it's not as hot as it could be, right? Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm sure this must be okay now. This is the one side of guys, sorry. Um, I'm just going to... Put this in again, just to make sure. 
I, I'm, I'm not concerned though. I think that's gonna be fine. I hope. <laughs> so slow. It's not even... Okay, it's, is it moving? The garlic is screaming for its life, it's sentient. I mean, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm not concerned since I'm not eating <laughs> an animal. But what I will do is just cut the edge of this. I guess we'll cut, I'll cut the edge and taste. The edge should at least definitely be cooked. I want to see the inside, what it looks like. Oh, look at the marbling on that now, Chloe. Oh, wow. It almost looks like it's not cooked because of how... I think it's pretty good. I don't know if it... I don't know if it should be cooked more or not. Let me taste. Almost feels like it could be. Maybe it should be cooked more. It's kind of thick. Yeah, that was kind of my concern, was how thick it was mm. and how kind of firm it was. Yeah. I almost feel like we could put it... I guess we could put it, we could put it, keep it on the pan. What do you think? Cook it more? Hmm. I feel like it could be. But it's otherwise good. It's kind of just a bit alarming. <laughs> like, it's sort of a weird, you know what I mean? What do you think? I'm confused. Like, I know that it's meant to look like this, but it is <laughs> an alarming look. I don't know if you can see that so well. Like, we could put it in the toaster, we could put it in the oven for a little bit, or keep it here and cover it. Mm. Or are you okay with it as it is? I don't know what to say. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we covered it, you know, to hope that the heat will go through more, <laughs> like, sorry, will disperse through the whole pan more easily like that. It does seem like it's, um, I don't know, I, I put the thermometer in here, and it was not it getting, it was getting to like the 150-ish range. I don't know if it's my thermometer. I don't know if it's okay. Um, I have it in here now. So what, what we're going to do, I mean, we've been cooking this now, what, this has got to be at least 15 minutes. Probably 20. Yeah. Um, at least. I, maybe it's just how this is. We'll check back in with you after we eat and tell you what we thought. But it is a little alarming, you know. Looking at the, the marbling, was just like, oh wow, I have not cooked steak in years. So, anyway, we'll see how it is and we will check back. And I'm just going to see if this gets hotter. The thermometer never got higher than 150, so eventually we just started to eat it. Now, this is what it looks like, and it's really, as I said, kind of alarming. So they have the look down, and it's very thick, and... As we ate it, I felt kind of underwhelmed, and so did my daughter. We both just sort of realized that, like, it doesn't really taste like steak. Maybe it's been too long since I've cooked a steak. Maybe cooking it in a different dish would be better. Um, but for fifteen ninety nine, and kind of not sure if I've cooked it well, and the, you know, the sort of ultra realistic look of it. I mean, the Beyond tips—they taste great. They work well without sort of throwing it in your face that it isn't like replicating an animal product, even though you know it is. But this with the kind of tendons and blood-ish, kind of probably a little too much for me. That said, if it tasted great, I mean, it would be a different story. But yeah, my daughter was underwhelmed and so was I. And for the price, sadly, I won't buy this again, although I do love supporting vegan innovation and products. That's all for now, guys. Let me know if you've tried this and what your thoughts are. See you in the next video.